Hello, my name is the Reverend Jenny Leslie, and I serve with the folks of Kitchissippi United Church here in Ottawa, Ontario. We are on the unceded Algonquin and Anishinaabe territory, and I uh, use she, her pronouns. As a colonizer, as a white person, I know that there are biases that I have that are just inherent in my being. I've been taught them, I've been immersed in them all my life. So one of the things that I know that I need to do is I need to question my biases. I need to question where this education has come from because I know that I'm immersed in a system of oppression, of systemic racism. That's just the water that I swim in. I know this is to be true. Valuing all voices is important because, as I've mentioned, that um, we haven't heard voices because white voices have dominated. And so Indigenous and racialized voices need to be elevated, need to be given the time and space to blossom and to uh, lend their wisdom to our courts. We need to aim for equity and we need to aim for equity as opposed to equality. Sometimes we don't recognize that there's a difference, but equality is about giving everyone the same thing. For example, a meal that might, we might share at that table. If, if there are uh, celiacs at the table, if there is a small baby at the table, is if there is someone who is diabetic at the table, they don't get it. But we can't be equal. We have to tailor that menu so that all people can eat and not get sick. A baby cannot eat the same meal as all the rest of the folks. Uh, a diabetic can't either. So we need to make sure we uh, aim for equity, which means that each person gets the, uh, the menu that they need. Make no mistake, this is hard work and it's good work. Jesus often made people uncomfortable, didn't he? And sometimes racial justice work does make us uncomfortable. And sometimes we get into a place of feeling shame. And I'd encourage us to put that away, to lay that down. Um, because when we stay in that place of shame and feeling guilty, we can't grow, we can't keep learning because we're stuck. So I invite you to feel the discomfort because as we say, the discomfort is where you'll, you'll continue to learn, where you'll push through to learn more. And this racial justice work that we're doing is just one component of the equity uh, team's focus, obviously. There are many other parts to it. So one of the ways that we can value all voices when we're in any meeting, any workshop, anywhere in the church, whether it's at the local level, a community of faith, or a regional meeting, or general council, anywhere actually that you are, you can pay attention to how much you're speaking. If you are a white person, how much you're speaking, how much space you're taking up, how much time you're taking up, whether your question is, um, something that's already been asked is a really important thing. Uh, whether your opinion, if your opinion's already been spoken, you probably don't need to say it again. In this way, when we value those kinds of questions that we ask ourselves, we're able to step back. As a white person, I can, I can, I can make sure that I step back, that I can um, regulate my own behavior, that I can step back and allow other voices to take that space. I can give those spaces actively away by not putting up my hand at all. If my voice needs to be heard or if I need to ask a question, I can do that in a bunch of different ways and it doesn't have to take up um, time and space and it doesn't have to take away from Indigenous or racialized voices. I think that's a really valuable thing for um, a white person to remember. Step up or step back. And mostly, hopefully, we can step back and allow our Indigenous and racialized uh, folks to, and members of our communities, to step up and share their wisdom. We can learn from 
indigenous and racialized people from their wisdom, from their stories and experiences, because there's so, so much that we don't know. And so I invite you to put away whatever fear, whatever guilt or shame that you might, might feel along the way. Just move through it. Know that it doesn't define you, that you can continue to learn and you can continue to grow. Thank you.